Hi guys, uh, Sean here, and we're going to play Catilla Saves the World, because I bought it off of Steam. And hang on, I have to turn down these speakers, because they're a tad light. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Right, now I assume there's going to be a lot of text, yeah. It's said to have come from this earth, from beyond the heavens. I suppose that is the earth. Doesn't look very earthy, but yeah. That's, that's a nice castle. For aeons, Cthulhu ruled from atop the great city of Rulay. Rulay, Rulay. I don't speak HP. HP Lovecraft even, not HP. Ah, uh, well, that was that wasn't much of an aeon, was it? Well, the legends are silent as to the fall of the great word. They all foretell the same prophecy. Colon. Cthulhu will rise again. Can, can we play it yet? Yay. Cthulhu saves the world. Does, is it me or does that text look kind of Monty Python-esque? It does. Should I be pressing the button here? Oh, maybe not. Please? Hang on. There we go! Um, options. Screen. Oh wait, I've already got that all fixed. Right. New game. Normal. Baby, baby Cthulhu. Kind of dark looking Cthulhu. Flamey Cthulhu. Bonus mode. I'll just stick with normal. N no thank you, I don't want commentary. For countless ages, an unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of word. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu. Yay. He looks kinda tired, I'll be honest. As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? Oh, it's Gandalf. Hey Gandalf. A brave and mysterious Gandalf has appeared from the high... I can't even read, can I? Ah, <sighs> Cliff. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. Yay, go Gandalf. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighbouring shore, defeated and dejected. Uh, to be honest, that looks more like David Jones. G gah. After waiting all this time, to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man is highly frustrating. I must get my powers back, but how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know that the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers in order to break the evil... What? What am I reading? In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. Yeah, I'm not reading that. Foolish narrator, while you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping. Now I too know the way to regain my power. That's a pretty happy Cthulhu face. Whoops. I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero, but only so that I can regain my powers, summon word to the surface, and destroy the world, of course. And thus, the most unlikely hero was born. Yay, finally! I wanna be RPG hero? Fuck yeah! I'm an RPG hero! Kinda. I played Pokemon. The Great Cthulhu needs no assistance. Yeah, you got that right. Left shift, yeah. First game developer by giving me the ability to run. I'll finish this silly game and have time. I'll be able to sell it back to the game store. Well, I can't because I bought it on Steam and they don't do returns. I yeah, it won't. First tab key to bring up my menu. Uh huh. I can save at any time. What is this? First person sure? You can't save in most first person shares at any time. Some don't. Um, can I can I start? Okay, I'll yay. Yeah, yeah, good good luck. Finally, cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. We forge our own destinies, no matter what the cost to humanity. Yay! I can walk. Or oh, what's this? A chest. You got three one ups, and you can use one ups to reset a failed battle. Yay! Okay, where's Pallet Town? Okay, this isn't Pokemon. Although it looks remarkably like Pokemon. Because that's as far as it goes for me with top-down RPGs. JRPGs. Aha! A helpless maiden beset by vicious monsters. I shall rescue her thus, becoming a true hero. That would not work for... Oh. I'm blaming the fact that it's early morning. 
that I can't read. That would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. It will take many heroic deeds before you are even remotely close to being considered a true hero. F f dying? Then I will kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Here's your diamond sword thing. Okay, to Guez approach. Round one begins. Monsters are at normal strength. Um. Um. Insane strike. Oh, wow. It's insane. But it still hits me? You fuck you! Siv it! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Why did they get more strength? Oh, screw you, guys! You die now! Ow! Um. Um. Tick! Death blow! Yay! Take that! Of it, uh. Full HP. Only four mana points. I'm guessing that means mana points. Magic points. Money points. I don't know. Two experience points and two gold. And I'm now level four. Yay. Oh, cool. I can pick a thingy. Enemy magic or strength? Mm, strength. And I've saved the princess. Die, foul slime monsters. As Cthulhu defeated the final slime monsters, he turned his... There was two slime monsters. He turned his gaze to the maiden that he had rescued. Gorgeous. I'm not doing a girly voice. What? When Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, she saw this. A crazed octopus dragon man covered with love hearts? Warning, image displayed may not reflect reality. My hero. Hero indeed. Did you hear that? Do I count as a true hero yet? No. Again, Vitang. I think. Vitang? I don't know. At this rate, I shall never become a true hero and regain my cosmic powers of destruction. Oh, brave warrior who has saved me from the gooey death. A gooey death, even. Let me join you on your noble quest. Do you do anything besides getting attacked by slime monsters? I have an affinity with the creatures of the sea, and I call them my friends. Is that not bestiality? Pass. Oh, and I have this trident which I use to stab things. That's more like it. And above all, I, Umi, promise you my wholehearted love and devotion, your great big green hunk of handsomeness. Yay. The great Cthulhu requires groupies. You shall do. Yay. Does this mean we're dating now? No, we're in a strictly rock star groupie relationship. For now. He. 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 Umi has joined your party. Okay, so I can chat. Oh cool, I get more than one character. Random encounters. Oh, do I need to go into a cave? I need to go into a cave, don't I? I may as well chat to her. Whoa! Is that starfish in your hair? Yes, her name is Penta. Isn't she cute? A live starfish in your hair, and people think I'm disgusting. Well, screw you, Umi. Let's go. Not that way. Is that, is that a gate? Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, for f Already? Okay, let's go in. The town of Miskatonia is just past these ser this series, not just one cave. Ah, uh, I'm sure there are some heroic deeds you could do there. To Miskatonia. Huh. What is that? Oh, a save point. Ah, uh, save slot A. Wow, I'm not liking the look of this cave at all. Um, um, can I swim? Use swim. Ah, uh, can I use fly? I have wings. Are oh, these stairs look very Pokemon esque? There's a lot of torches in here too. It's not particularly that dark a cave. Uh, um, left or up? Left or up? Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Snailies in an Uzumaki. I'm actually terrified. Um, I'll use Deathblow. That seemed quite... No, no. Wait, that probably means the end of it. Oh, Jesus. 50 health points. Uh, snaily, snaily. Siren's Call. Uh, attack. Just attack the snaily. Oh, 16 damage. Not bad. Oh, crap. That is a pretty insane looking Uzumaki. 19 damage points! Jesus! 
Jesus Christ. I need to get rid of this. Oh, death blow. Kill it. Kill it dead. Yay! 69 and... The snaily stares blankly into space. Well, that's quite a good thing, actually. I wonder if I can use a unite attack. Call crack... Oh, no. Maybe I shouldn't call the kraken. 16... 21. Yay! All enemies have been defeated. 5 experience and 8 gold. Yay. Umi is now level 5. She's a higher level than Cthulhu, really. Less likely to be attacked by the enemy or each insane enemy gives agility plus 10. I'll be a pussy. And left. Maybe I'll find a hidden chest down here. Or not. A bridge. <gasps> chest! you got a fleece tunic. Wow, I've got a tunic. Can I wear the tunic? Equip. Uh, Cthulhu. Armor. Oh, wow. I'm wearing a fleece tunic now. Awesome. Umi can... What armor does she have? Oh no, she has a dress. I'm not going to give her a tunic. Whoa! I forgot I can run. Maybe if I run fast enough, the... Mm, no. Oh Jesus. A seahorse, a crab and a giant rat. Fantastic. What one has the most health? The, cr the crab has the most health? That one looks scary, so... I'll... No, wait, I'll attack the crab. You also attack the crab. Oh god damn it. Damn you seahorse. Nine damage? Ow. Ten damage? Ow. Why did that just attack twice? Oh, well, that's it. Insanity on the giant rat and you... Actually, use Sidon's call on the giant rat. Whoa, whoa. Is this insane and stunned? Oh crap. Cthulhu's nearly dead. Um, potion. Oh crap, so that's my move? That's kind of balls. The seahorse casts flood, one hit. Oh lordy. Yay, potion. Attack the... Crab. And you attack the seahorse. No, attack crab too. Ow. Why is the seahorse so deadly? I don't, I don't understand. Are seahorses really that deadly? Death blow. Uh, attack. Stop casting flood! Jesus. Awesome. I have no idea what I'm doing, but awesome. Sweet. Should I save? I think I'll save here, because I don't know how long I've been recording this for. I'm not going to re remove the hard drive. Okay, well that's me done for just now. I'll be back with the next episode. Hopefully I'll be slightly less insane. Quit. What? How the hell do I quit? Oh, I have 10.